Earthquakes and tsunami warnings all over the world today as not just Japan, but Hawaii, Alaska, California, Yellowstone, Montana, Indonesia, the Virgin Islands, El Salvador, New Mexico, Puerto Rico, Fiji, Russia, Texas, Chile, and the Northern Mariana Islands have all experienced earthquakes in the last 24 hours as today, January 1st, 2024, the first day of the new year, it seems that the entire world is trembling. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you the latest video footage so you can see it for yourself and the tsunamis that are pouring in let me know your thoughts in the comments down below this all hitting on the first day of 2024 and like i said i'm going to share with you the video footage so you can see it for yourself earthquakes and tsunami warnings shalom i want to start off by giving all praises honor and glory unto yahweh bahasham yahweh shai bahasham raka kodash double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that rule well peace and salutations unto the hopeful elect this is brother yerushalam coming at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai Ba'asham, Raka Kodash. And, um, you know, Shalom, I'm on to the 144,000, you know, I forget, um, forgot to mention. Very important. All right, the name of this one is A Destructive Start to 2024. Hashtag Prophecy and Judgment. All right, and this year being coined the year, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, you know, coming to pass, you know, by the elder apostles. All right, you know, and, you know, and we give thanks for this, for this, this, this news, you know, this great, this good news for us. You know, the men of the Lord seen the prophecies coming to pass, seen the first day of the year destruction in um, Japan, I believe. There were also earthquakes that hit Iran and other places. All right, so so let, let let me play over this video and then let me bring out some precepts because hey, this is showing the time that we in, and we're very close to the end. Let, let's let's play some of this again. All over the world today as not just Japan, but Hawaii, Alaska. Earthquakes and tsunami warnings all over the world today as not just Japan, but Hawaii, Alaska, California, Yellowstone, Montana, Indonesia, the Virgin Islands, El Salvador, New Mexico, Puerto Rico, Fiji, Russia, Texas, Chile, and the Northern Mariana Islands have all experienced earthquakes in the last 24 hours as today, January 1st, 2024, the first day of the new year, it seems that the entire world is trembling. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you the latest video footage. The entire world is trembling. He's, the amount of places he called it is beautiful. All right? And all that is judgment. All that is to prove the, the sign of the times. So let me start off with this precept here. Lord willing, is Elifian, 2nd Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 1. It says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, right? Then shall thou understand that it is a very plain time when the highest will begin to visit the world with need, right? Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, right? We have been here about earthquakes all over the world yesterday, the first day of the year, right? Earthquakes all over, right? Earthquakes and uproars of the people of the world. You know, we have a lot of uproars, wars and rumors of wars, a lot of wars taking place. And they're not talking about it. Alright? They're trying to hide this information. This should be all over the news. Alright? Earthquakes in so many places. Come on. Right? Verse, verse um, 4 says, uh, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Right? Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonders and powerful, powerful works and endings in effects and signs. So these are the end, these are the effects and signs that the Lord was talking about. You can also go to the book of um, book of Matthew, all right? Book of Matthew, chapter twenty-four, verse three. It says what? I'll start verse 4. Alright, it says, um, And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, the apostles, He says, Take heed, no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And you know, are we not going to see that? Yeah, we see that. It says, And he shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you do not trouble, for all these things must come to pass. Right? Why? Because it was written. Right? And everything written, of course, I'm going to listen to what Paul and Newman. It wasn't just written for us to read and, you know, hey, let, let's read it and let's not put it come to pass. No, every single word of the Lord of Yahweh 
Hashim of the Shine Schools must come to pass. Right? Every word is prophetic, it's prophetic, it's prophecy. Right? You know, the spirit prophets the word of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And the scripture says that Yahweh Shai comes in volume on the book. It is the whole book. Alright? So it says these must for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. But it says it says for nation shall rise against nation. Um and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. So, so it just begun, right? It just begun in this place, right? Where all the Gikanash Jakes and heathens, you know, be partying, be making merry. Jake be making merry, all right? Jake be enjoying herself, drinking, partying. We just finished the Gikanash. All right, Lord is showing them that hey, ain't nothing nice coming here. All right, let me let me get that precept. You know they um they will seek peace. They seek peace. Yeah, they're gonna seek peace, but there ain't no peace. Um, let me use something here. Let me get second. Uh, is it First Thessalonians five? No, Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians one. Is it? First Thessalonians, Lakia. First Thessalonians 1. Bear with me a moment here. 5. Here we go. Right, here we go. First Thessalonians 5. And, um, okay, first 1. So I'll show forth, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it'll be second Ezra chapter five. Um second Ezra five. Let me let me get this. Tokens. So lucky. Yeah? Here we go, 2nd Ezra 6 and verse 20. I'll start at verse 19. 2nd Ezra 6 and 19. And I will begin to make inquisition of them that um, what they be that are put unjustly with their unrighteousness and when the affliction of Zion shall be fulfilled. And that's, that's the affliction of Zion is not now. All right? It's being fulfilled now. All right? And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, right? Then will I show forth these tokens. The book shall be opened before the firmament, and he shall see all together. So the book be open right now in the firmament. And the Lord is making inquisition of men for the wickedness. Right? You know? And this is what the Lord is bringing us to. You know, because the scripture says nothing. Right? All the party in the scripture says better than the house of mourning and the house of feasting. Why did you say that? Did you say that for, 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 for a joke? Did you say you think? It's not real, it's not going to come to pass. No, it will surely come to pass. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Alright? This is the book of um, Isaiah, chapter 24, and, um, and verse 8. 
back I'll read from um, verse 7 it says the new wine mourned right and the vine languished all the merry hearted do sigh they go, this is what the Lord is bringing it to the mirt right the cheerful sounds the partying all right the mirt of the tablet cease the noise of them that, that rejoice ended the joy of the harp ceased they shall not drink wine with a song Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink Because some of them won't go have no houses When you finish them off with the earthquakes and mash up the houses Bring famine and pestilence They, 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 they ain't going to be laughing They ain't going to be grinning They ain't going to be mocking They ain't going to be scoffing Alright It says First 10 The city of confusion is broken down Babylon the great America Every house is shut up That no man may come in There's a crying for wine in the streets All joy is darkened the mirth of the land is gone. The city is left desolation, is left desolate, and the gates is smitten with destruction. And that's the same thing that happened in Japan. Let me see if I can get that. Bear with my moment here. Alright, this is this is what's going on. Let's let's take a look. <laughs> In Japan, these are Ammonites. The Lord ain't playing. The Lord is destroying them with a serious destruction. Alright, look at that. The whole place is desolate. Right? You know? You have cars, you have the whole road open up. Look at the picture below. The road is opened up. You have boats on dry land. Right? Cars destroyed. People probably, the amount of life that death toll is high. Who knows? Alright? Look at this cars on cars being crushed by houses. Hey, you don't want to play with your Hashem Yahushai. They're gonna, they, they forget the power of our Lord. You know, the, of, 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 of our Lord's Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Right? But they're gonna see. The Lord is gonna remind them. Alright? He's gonna remind them. Okay? skid on its belly for uh, many hundreds of yards until it finally came to a rest fire engulfing its belly all around firefighter all right the plane is a plane that that landed in the airport and caught on fire in japan hey all praises to our bashim yawashai you know all praises to our bashim yawashai you know this you know because things not going to get any better contrary to popular belief you know that that old saying in Israel, that old that old proverb, you know that effect of every vision feel it. You know, it, it, anyway, it's out the window. You know, um, have a cook too. And verse three, in fact, verse two it says, and Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that read at it, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak, and not lie. Do it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Alright, it's not tarrying. Okay? And the Lord is just getting started. You can imagine how terrible it's gonna be as time progresses just from this year on. Alright? From here on in, you know, it's gonna be hell breaking loose. You know? And these Christian churches still trying to rock you niggas back to sleep. Alright, but it, but hey, that ain't gonna change nothing. No matter if you believe. But famine is coming, hyperinflation is coming, you know, earthquakes, pestilence, all these things are coming, you know, the Lord is going to unleash his spirits, creative for vengeance. Let's get a couple more precepts and close this out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6, it reads, Thou shalt be visited of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise right there with their three, um, three meter high tsunamis. Washing away people and, and property. Alright? All over the world. In, in Japan too. Alright? With storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. And the multitude of all the nations that fight against Ariel. You know, which is the Lion of, of, of Israel. Lion of Yahabashim, Yahushai, power. 
which represent Jerusalem, even all that fight against her and her munition and that distress her shall be as a dream of a night vision. And, and these Ammonites, best believe they've been oppressing us. You know, these so-called Japanese, they're oppressing Jake from a long time. Since in the land they're coming against us, in the land of Israel. All right? But the Lord is destroying them now. He says, um, verse 8, Isaiah 29 and 8, it shall be, it shall be even, it shall even be as when a hungry man dreameth, and behold, he eateth, but he awaketh, and his soul is empty. Or as when a thirsty man dreameth, and behold, he drinketh, but he awakeneth, awaketh, and behold, he is faint, and his soul hath appetite. So shall the multitude of all the nations be that fight against Mount Zion. Right? That's how we're going to be. They're going to be destroyed. They're going to be destroyed. You, you bet your bottom dollar. All right? The Lord, the Lord ain't playing. This is, the, this is the time for judgment. The controversy of Zion is on our Lord's mind. You know, and he's, he's acting, man. All praises to his holy name. You know, all praises to his holy name. Sirach 40 and 9, it says, Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, earthquake is a calamity, famine, a so-called act of God, force majeure, all right? Famine, tribulation and scourge. These things were created for the wicked. And for their sakes came the flood, right? And even now, they have, they have tsunamis, which is a flood on the land, coming on the land. So the Lord is sending out the spirits, you know, and they're coming to deal with these, these wicked-ass jakes and these heathens. All right? Jeremiah 9, verse um, 21. This is, what, this is for this year. All right? Because there's a lot of debt coming this year. It says, um, Jeremiah, um, slack, yes, with Daniel. Let's go back. Jeremiah 9, verse 21. It says, uh, it reads, For death is come up into our windows. Right, death, that is speak about, you know, in, in, in um, Jeremiah the 15th chapter, Jeremiah the 16th chapter, you know, different forms of death, four types of death. All right? So death is come up into our windows and is entered into our palaces to cut off the children from without and the young men from the streets. Speak, thus saith Yahweh, even the carcasses of men um, shall fall as dung upon the... All right, things ain't gonna look good for them because it's mass hell coming. Matthew 24 and 21. It reads, For then shall be great tribulation, such as not since the beginning of, world, of the world to, the, to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days be shortened, right, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. The Lord is gonna save the elect, so he's gonna shorten the time. All right, it's going to shorten the time, you know, but many great miseries are going to be done in this place, you know, and you're going to see more and more this year, right, because it's popping off. This is the hopeful year that Jacob's shovel will come to pass, right? Second Ezra 8, verse 50, it reads, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. But understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory of such as be like thee. You know, this just truth, men of the Lord. All right? Because there ain't no stopping this thing. This train already started to go. You know? You know, and, um, and you know, it's just like a woman in, um, in travail. You know, she's, you know, from one, to, you know, she's dilating from one dilation to another until she's fully dilated. Until that's when your hawa comes. But before that, you know, it's just going to get worse and worse. You know, there's going to be more and more judgments coming on, coming online, coming on stream. Right? More and more judgments building up. Because wickedness is increasing. Second Ezra chapter four, uh, 14, verse 16, it reads, For, e for yet greater evils than, thou which, um, than those which thou have seen happen shall be done hereafter. Right? For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell upon the earth. Why? Because it's judgment. Right? Judgment. Right? For truth is fled far away and leasing is, is hard at hand, wickedness. Now, for now he set the vision to come, which thou hast seen, and the initiative of the Lord, the elect of the Lord, we know the judgment. So if you've seen this, and if you're hearing, hearing this, um, what's going on, 
and seeing what the signs. If the Lord open up your mind, unlock your mind to get this truth, you know, repent and change your way, you know, because judgment is going to come upon you soon, right? A destructive start to 2024 with that. Pray that this lesson was edifying, you know, till next time, Abad Babal and Shalom.